hey champs hey jt's welcome welcome back to my channel it's a girl ij today we are going to be talking about how you can stop being needy as a man now we know that when a man and a woman wants to get into a relationship and a woman is you know all over the man you know always calling his phone texting him and all of that a lot of men see it as okay they see it like oh she's just really in love with me but if the reverse is the case where it's the man who is you know just pouring out his love out there and you know dripping and calling and texting and just all over this woman women most women don't like it actually like maybe some women will see it as cute but that's just like the one percent but majority of women will run away from you if you are too needy as a man so let me tell you five ways that you're being needy and it is scaring women away from you like your your neediness is pushing women away from you so you might not know that this is the problem because you might be a 10 you might be tall fine handsome you know you might have all of the money but the fact that you are you know giving out these signs of neediness makes a woman uncomfortable so you know keep or be in a relationship with you so welcome and welcome back my name is ij and this is real talk with ij i always say you need to subscribe because on here we have fun and i don't want you to miss out on any of it all right so let us jump straight into this video one of the very first signs on my list when when i talk about neediness is the need to always apologize now for me i feel like as a man you should not be apologizing all the time now a gentleman apologizes when he is wrong okay when you know you are wrong but you're not apologizing all the time because you just want to make her happy don't do that okay that is giving off the please pick me i'm a, I'm a good man Mm -mm. okay a lot of women will see it like why is he always apologizing like he doesn't even know who he is or where he stands so don't apologize for, for everything not to her not to people around you like don't be that so much nice guy that you just want peace to reign so you apologize and take full responsibility for everything like even when we go out in public and someone is obviously stepping on your toe instead of you to tell them don't do that you apologize and saying you know it's, it's okay it's my fault or it's my girl's fault it's fine we'll leave when you should be saying hey don't talk to my woman like that or why are you doing that you get so don't be that person that is always apologizing you apologize for everything oh i'm sorry oh i'm sorry i'm so sorry i'm so don't do that okay like just apologizing unnecessarily is it just comes up as you being very needy like you just want people to like you you want to be the nice guy everywhere so you want peace terrain like it doesn't come off as manly so don't be doing that secondly and this one personally happened to me this really this you know before the relationship could even start with this person it just ended stop overly checking up on a, on your girl or the girl you want to date like you guys are not getting the relationship now don't get me wrong it's okay it's cute to call your girl text your girl hope you're having a good day i miss you where are you at now where are you going to it's okay it's okay to check up on your woman when she's your girl but if this girl is not fully yours, or even when she's now your girlfriend, please, when you call her, like, how are you, how's your date going? She says, I'm fine. Immediately, you call on video call. Show me around. Who are you talking to? I'm hearing voices there. Is that, is that Chioma? Is that Jane? Is that Jude? Is that Peter? Like, who are, can I see the people in the room? Can I see where you are? Take a video of where you are. Take a picture. Or send a screenshot of where you are. Like, don't ever ever be like that don't ever be like that if you call your girl and you ask her how her day is going or you call her on a video call and you're talking to her except she's in a very beautiful place that you have never visited before and you want her to just show you around how beautiful the place is don't ever tell her turn the camera i want to see the people you're talking to i want to see the people you're hanging out with is that a man's voice i'm hearing there don't be don't ever do that don't spend your time checking up on your girl all the time in fact your girl should be the one worried about what you're doing you want to be important in your relationship your girl should be the one worried about what you're doing babes where are you babes what are you doing babes who's talking in the background babes whose house are you in babes this babes that it shows that she she doesn't want to lose you now it's sweeter when it's coming from a girl although when it gets when it gets ob obsessive it's dangerous so even if your woman is doing it to you i would advise that you tell her to stop it early so that doesn't get into her head and it becomes even very disrespectful when you're with friends and your woman wants you to show everywhere so you even need to stop her if that's what she's doing because it shows serious insecurities and serious neediness and nobody wants someone who is just so needy around them like if you call me and i tell you i'm in a certain place i expect you to say okay 
except there's something fancy and you want a picture of that or i willingly just send you a picture of or oh, see where i i am or see the people i'm chilling with don't say turn the camera show me this why are you not taking or you or you text and i don't reply or you call once and i don't reply you feel the need to give me like 10 20 missed calls or you feel the need to keep texting texting or you start texting my friends to know whether i'm with any of them uh brother that's where you messed up big time that's where you messed up big time so if you're if you're doing any of this it's just showing pure neediness and no girl will want to stay with you another huge sign for me is when you get jealous so early even before we get into a relationship like maybe we are just out on the first date or this is like the second time we are meeting up like we've not fully committed to each other okay we've not fully committed i'm not yet your girl you're not my man we're not exclusive like we're just trying to see where this is going to take us to and we start talking about maybe we are talking and i bring up a man's name maybe my colleague at work or a friend and already you're like hmm this one you're always mentioning him like do you have something with that nigga like you start you i start seeing jealousy like sometimes it can be cute but for a lot of women who have experienced neediness and knows that it never ends well that early state of jealousy is just going to throw her off it's going to throw her completely off you don't know this person she's talking about you don't know if her cousin if it's her cousin you don't know if it's a family member you don't know who this person is at all but you're already showing signs of neediness you're already telling her things like well i don't like my woman talking to other men like i'm not even your woman yet and you're already giving me conditions on how to be in a relationship with you so you need to be very careful okay you might be doing this and you're thinking it's cute or that's what relationship is all about but trust me a lot of women will run away when you give off this kind of needy needy vibe so if you're getting to know her please be careful don't start giving her rules and regulations she's not yet yours yes i know it's it's okay to set boundaries early and let your woman know but you know trying to cut her off from every other man before she even makes you exclusive is is just mad because when it comes to dating i'm sure you're not talking to only her and even if you're talking to only her it's okay that she's talking to other people until she chooses the person she wants to be committed to okay so when you get to that point and you tell her we need to be committed and she says yes she being a good woman would just know how to set boundaries with every other male friend in her life now let me ask this question and please answer me in the comment section do you think your woman should keep a male bestie let me know if you have an experience with that just let me know i really want to hear your feedback let me know if it's okay because i know most of you watching me are men so let me know if it's okay that your girlfriend or your wife has a bestie and and it's a male like it doesn't matter maybe they've known each other from bet maybe they were they were i don't know raised together or they just met in high school university but like they're super close is it okay or does she have to completely cut off her bestie or you the husband is supposed to be the woman's bestie so let me know if it's okay for your woman to have a male bestie all right now my next point and this one is very very common nowadays in fact uh there's a lady i follow a very beautiful lady i follow here on youtube lucy benson she just talked about this you know i think maybe a day ago or two days ago oversharing oversharing is generally a problem now with i don't know with the society like people just People are too comfortable with their phone. So they just come out and they start sharing everything. Okay, people are too comfortable. The people are oversharing and it's crazy. Now, as a man, you need to be careful not to overshare. Now, this is not even about social media. This is about you oversharing to a woman who you're just asking out. So she, you, you guys have gone on a date a couple of times and now you're telling her about all your family problem, all your family drama, like so many things that should be need to know, so many things that should come when you guys are already trying to get married or you know like there are things you should not be saying oh i got an sti or i almost got hiv or i almost slept with this girl that you know was sleeping with my dad i like see let me tell you don't overshare it can be overwhelming it can come off as really needy she's not your therapist okay she's not your therapist she doesn't really she doesn't really need to know all of your personal traumas earlier on in that relationship keep it to yourself you are acting like a mommy's boy like you need a shoulder to cry on you need some breast milk to sip okay don't don't start sh some of you can even go as far as crying like you start talking about and you just start please i know i've said it on my channel here that it's okay for a man to cry because you're human but like i've also said that you should cry when it's very important maybe you lose a loved one you lose your mom you lose a dog 
you lose something really dear to you like when it's really important maybe tears of joy you've been expecting the contract and it happens and you're just so overwhelmed and you drop a few tears it's okay for a man to be that vulnerable it's okay to be that vulnerable to the right person now this girl you're just meeting her you don't even know her father you don't know anything about her and you're, you're oversharing for me it's showing i really need so i'm so lonely i need someone to talk to i'm so lonely please this is all my family problem this is all of my problem like be careful don't overshare like i've also said it on this channel there sometimes when you overshare you might be sharing it to the wrong girl and the, the first quarrel you're going to have in that relationship the first drama you're going to have she's going to use all of those oversharing against you like she's going to use all of your family drama and everything you told her on the first date everything about your past she's going to dump it on you and make you feel miserable so be careful not to overshare it's a huge sign of neediness and i don't want you to be doing that all right now the last one and this one is this one is also very common among men especially on the first date and if you've not seen all of my first date tips make sure you go check it out i will link those videos at the end of this one or they're going to be in the description box so make sure you go check it out now what you should be doing is over planning ahead don't over plan you meet this girl you're not yet married to her like i even said on the first date don't plan the second date don't don't talk about the second date immediately allow her digest it allow her go home allow the conversation marinate and continue before you plan the next thing don't be on the first date and you're telling her oh i feel like i'm going to marry you tomorrow oh please have kids for me oh i already see you carrying my babies i already see my babies having your eyes like you don't know what uh, mental level she is at. A lot of younger people, a lot of women who, you know, cannot handle discussions like that would just run away. Like, you just want to get me pregnant. Like, I don't even know who you are. Do you plan on raping me or something? Like, are you just trying to get me pregnant? I don't want to be a baby mama until I get married. Like, a lot of thoughts will be running through their mind. So don't over plan. Don't over plan. Take everything gradually. Read this woman's body language. Read this woman. Try to understand her before you use. Ibo people will say, "Oh, oh, oh!" Before you use big, big planning to scare her away, it only shows neediness. It's like you're really lonely and you just really need her right now. You really, really need her right now. Yes, I know. We, people say women are really complicated. Like you don't know what they want. Sometimes they say, "Tell us your mind." Sometimes they say, "Play along." But the truth is, don't overdo it. Everything in moderation is perfect. Okay, everything in moderation is perfect. You've seen this girl, even though you really like her, and you feel like I'm definitely going to marry this girl. It's okay to let her know that you want to date. It's okay to let her know you want to get in a committed relationship with her. Don't rush onto. Don't rush towards. Uh, I know maybe for Muslims they will say, "Oh, you don't have to date the moment you see her. Ask for her father's number and go see her parents." Now that's religion. If that's how it works for you, that's fine. Also, for some Christian folks, they don't want to date; they just want to go straight into marriage and all of that. That's also fine. At least you want. At that point, you already understand who she is. That's why it's important to understand who she is so that it doesn't come off as neediness. So when you understand that this is the religion, this is how this person is, this is how it's supposed to work, no dating, just I like you marriage, then you have to do it. But if it's not like that, because we know it's not like that for a lot of women, it's okay that you plan before you, you know, move to the next step. Don't just from number one to number 10. She's going to feel like, so maybe nobody else wants you. And since, I mean, he, you're lucky to have her, you just want to color be her, like you just want to steal her immediately, like, you know what i mean okay so just be careful that you don't come off as needy because you don't want to scare women away from you so that's the end of the video for today let me know what to think about this video in the comment section and don't forget to reply me if it's okay for a woman or your woman to have a male bestie i will see you next time don't forget to subscribe okay keep living life keeping champs and bye for now Mwah.